All right, welcome to another Porg report coming in from the Hobby Matrix Wave Championships on the 13th of January 2019. So here we have David versus Gary in round four. David with Lieutenant Tabson, Quick Draw Midnight versus Gary with Redline, Death Rain, and Suntir Fell. Um, these are both pretty good lists. Uh, and seeing as they both went, they were both three zero at this point in the day. Oh, David was actually two two one. Oh, was he? Okay, so I beat David. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Gary was um before this round. The, the in the third round, Gary was the three only three and O player. Okay. But yeah, um, so it looks like they were both 192 points, so David would have won the roll. And then he's used his hyperspace tracking to then put out Tabson at six, which is really helpful uh, without having to broadcast where that shuttle's going to be because that thing is horrible to turn around. Yeah. You're just jealous, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, this is a, a list that I've been playing around with quite a lot as well about the Upsilon and then having Quick Draw and Midnight. And it is it is very good. Very, very fun list. So here, looking at where they've placed that the same thing that Gary's done last turn about keeping all the rocks together and having those punishers right in front ready mm. for David to then fly into it. So David could have probably put the shuttle right down the bottom where he's put midnight and then to slowly go down that bottom edge of the board yeah. and trying to catch Suntir and yeah, either causing Suntir to have to run away or go in at Tabson, which he does not want to do. And then I don't know if he's put Midnight too far away now. because He has spread his ships quite big. Yeah. Tabson's big uh, ability of uh, coordinate is so handy against these two ships who really want the actions to survive. Yeah. And so sometimes when Midnight might be in a bit of a tricky spot, you can give him her a, a focus and the target lock in the turn or you know give the evade and the target lock just really and then even tabson uh, if somebody's shooting at tabson as well getting those actions off during the combat phase is very handy have, um, have you guys heard of the um the tabson trick with electronic baffle at all yes yeah, I'm a bit surprised that he didn't uh, didn't put that in, unless he, he was, doesn't know about it. He was talking uh, about it, and uh, that's how I sort of found out about it. Um, but um, now, at what uh, are you talking about the end phase trick? Yeah, to to keep the to keep the um, the token. Yeah, so basically, what it is is. Uh, I think there's a bit of a, a, a thing with this. I'm not 100% sure that this would actually be the way it will work. Um, but they're saying that because electronic baffle is in the end phase and your token cleanup is also in the end phase, that you can choose which one happens first. So you can token cleanup, take electronic baffle, coordinate to another ship, give them a token, but they keep it until the next round because the end phase, like both abilities happen in the end phase. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, uh, interesting. Yeah, trick. it's one of those things that it's like, that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be an FAQ on that pretty quickly, but who knows, maybe not. But uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, we forgot intros. Uh, I'm Andy C, Porg Knight. Uh, I'm Andy V, <laughs> Porg King. And Jared, Paul, right. And Tim, um, Paul, <laughs> scrub. Paul, <laughs> scrub.
<laughs> not the peasant. One. Um, probably a sidestep from the peasant. Probably a little bit more in front, really. I'm basically <laughs> the poor <pork> rebound. <laughs> we just needed someone to talk. Yeah, and they were both named Tim, so. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, that's right. I'm the better player, though. <laughs> just joking. You're not. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I just don't play anymore. Well, rarely. Uh, the interesting thing with Tavson as well, uh, he really, it's a bit of a tricky spot about doing the stops because if you then shoot Tavson, his ability is useless now. Yeah, it and just then, makes it that little bit harder. Yeah, and that's why the advanced sensor is really good, that if you can keep somebody else there in front and just so he can bump into the back, just a slow roll in a fair bit. I'm really interested about Sunti is now banked yeah, in. moved in. That's interesting. Uh, okay, he's trying to come around, mm. get out of dodge. Yep. You know what? On a, on a slight tangent, just because we've... We're seeing this upsilon. I was doing a little bit of experimenting. I was just doing a little bit of, uh, you know, looking at the list. Really want to try out. Um, oh crap! What's his name? Um, Major Major Striden. Oh, yes. um, with Captain Phasma, basically permanently making all one stress ship stressed um, from range one to three. Uh, no, his uh, ability says uh, friendly. Yeah, but it makes uh, makes the ability of the crew um, go from range one to two to three. Is that right? No, no, it just says you may treat friendly ships at range two to three as being range, range zero one. or one. Yeah. Why so... do you ruin my life, Jared? Like <laughs> seriously. Because that, yeah. that would be brutal if that yeah. was possible. Oh. Sadly, Phasma, like, from, like, the, the character, really wanted to be good, but she's just, like, Mara Jade from 1.0, mm. and she was just not very good. It was just too hard to get that off. And then if you've got ships with linked, they'll just link. They'll just do a linked action, and yeah. it doesn't... Like because they're going to take a stress anyway. You're you are kind of forcing them to do that, uh, making it a little bit harder to turn around. But then trying to stay in range one is is so difficult. I'm so upset by that now. Just yeah. no. I just <laughs> wanted to find a really broken combo for first order, and <laughs> no. Nah. The amount of times <laughs> that I've you. tried to make a major strident list. And I've gone, yeah, I can put this like upgrade on there to like really mess with them. I'm like, oh, I don't work on friendlies. God damn it. Yeah. <sighs> also, we got, yeah, Midnight coming in. Oh, hit crit. Oh. Good work. Very nice. First roll. Couple oh. of updates there. Gets out. Yeah, Cynthia does Cynthia. Hey, at least they're using the dice box, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and yeah, Quick Crawl's got that range three shot. Oh, what's he? Ah, oh, he's only got the one. Oh, and it's blocked. Looked like he got two then. Might have just been a uh, glitch in the system there, but. Oops. I actually think that reinforced is undervalued in uh, underrated, sorry, in um, uh, 2.0. I think it's actually quite good, even though you're still taking one damage. Um, yeah, I feel like it's pretty good. If you are really low, <coughs> low agility, it can be really good. And if you're going to be taking multiple shots, uh, if you're only going to be taking the one shot, though, it's, yeah, it's not as good. Yeah. Well, could you imagine, like, 
this is ridiculous. Another ridiculous state statement from the scrub here. Um, having fell with reinforce, that would be funny as. <laughs> is there any way we can mute him or? <laughs> Should I, just, should I just boot him? You asked me to be here. <laughs> I'm getting paid for this, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I can I can mute him if we want. <laughs> Where's my Borg dollary dues? <laughs> you, you need to come to a tournament. Well, I can't. I have to travel like 450 kilometers. <laughs> uh, and that's not our problem. <laughs> um, it is. <laughs> So I think he's actually doing all right here with his punishes. He's got um, yeah. yeah two shots that he can put in the uh, trajectory simulator, trajectory simulator, mm. um, and he covers sort of both bases. Question on the uh, on the um, seismics: If yep. you have that have two seismics on the same asteroid, can you get two damage off? No, no, because okay. you're doing you pick one, it destroys the asteroid. And then that bomb token goes away. Then you right. pick the next token. Yeah, okay. The asteroid's gone. Right. You just wanted simultaneous bombing. Yeah, that'd be so good. <laughs> I'm blowing up this asteroid twice. <laughs> I have actually seen that um, that happen. Um, where two bombs have been dropped like this and they uh, both pick the same. Well, when the, another asteroid is out of range, they both pick the same one. So he's just using it to get Death Ray in the action in the same yep. same instance. Mm. Yeah, Tavson doing that. It's clearing stress, coming in. Just being a big menace. Yeah. I'm still sad about that, Jared. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, so he's he's going after quick draw. He really oh, does want on quick draw. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think quick draw is going to be able to get out of that arc either. Oh. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, if he's going to go in for the block, probably now. Yeah, hoping that yeah. Quick Draw is doing like too a bank. Oh. Too yeah, hard. but if he's done, yeah, the the too hard in, he's probably going. A one hard would probably still be blocked here as well. Yeah, that would be very tight. I think. Well, he is. He does have the pattern analyzer. Yeah, version, so so. a four K with a barrel roll. Mm. Might be able to sort of get him out of some marks. He'd definitely get a red line, but that's if he picked. Um, yeah, uh, the turn in to quick draw. I thought SFs only have um, second one. Yeah, they do. They've only got the three. He's he's pinned down midnight here quite heavily because midnight's going to try and come in. Um, oh. That's not bad. I think he should be out of that. Yeah, he's uh, making sure that he doesn't get hit by that. So, mm. But the only problem now is Midnight is just so far out of the, yeah. the fight now. It's going to take him a round or two to get back in. Yep. And see, this is what Gary did very well with me, is he Ooh. made me choose where I was going to sit. So um, there was a lot of thought processes that sort of um, made me think, okay, what am I going to be doing here? Gary just f casually flipping off everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got two shots here on... Oh, no, it's only the one. No, it's only got the one, but it'll be... Talk. Yeah, a double mod proton talk. But it will give Quick Draw that second shot mm. onto Red Line. But looking at that. Is that Red Rain or Death Rain at the back? I think that's Death Rain at the back. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it would be Death Rain at the back there. And then 
if he gets yeah two shots on and taps in, he can really do some hurt into Death Rain, hopefully. But Tabson not having any mods for his own attacks is going to hurt a bit more. It would have been actually really interesting if um, Midnight didn't barrel roll, target locked or, or whatnot, take, took the hit to trigger Fanatical mm. um, so that they would have four volleys of fire at Redline. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's got the target lock onto Soon Tier at the moment. Uh, so if he barrel rolled even the other way, might have been interesting. Yeah, that was the the shot from Quickdraw, I think, from the damage. Yep, so he's lost one shield. To Death Rain? Yep. Yeah, not having any mods uh, really does hurt. Mm. Oh, yep, so he's blowing up that rock now. So I think both... Uh... Redline and Death Rain have lost one charge on the ablative plating. I in the both spent seismics. The other thing as well is I feel like they've done really well to uh, sort of set up midnight. So midnight kind of has to come around from the outside here. Oh, good. That's up there. That was a oh. cocked dice there. Cocked dice. Oh, yep, so two. Oh, no, no, he's going to spend. Oh, oh, save him. Good work. So there's only one shield off a of death rain at the moment? Uh, nothing so far. I thought he took one at the start from the first shot from um, Quick Troll. Oh, did he? Okay. I believe so. Oh, yeah, the proton, proton torps. Torps. Two crits and a hit. Two, yeah, two hit. Uh, two crits, no hit. Let's see. Oh, oh unlucky. Yeah. Shields That's all down. three shields and one crit yeah. through, is it? Oh, oh, no, he's got um, elusive. Elusive. Ah, very nice. Yeah, so that saved him that. So just shields down. No return fire? No, because he'd, he'd lost it from the, the bomb. Ah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So, so now, yeah, Tavson getting a shot. Oh, he's going to go after Redline. That's interesting. Yeah, I thought I, I would uh, I guess you've only done one shield yeah. on... Um, Two. Uh, does one That's more. One. So interesting now for Tabson. Does he do the stop, stay where he is, or do you sort of one I, in? I don't really think you can afford to it. This Point. Like I think the uh, you're one in and you get that coordinate maybe. Uh, knowing David though, he does like his um, reinforce. Yeah. So he could just one in reinforce, or even if, but it's. It's hard to say, well, is Suntia going to sort of probably two bank and still try to get off quick draw? But... See, I'm super aggressive, so I'm like, bring Tavson in hard. Two straight, get him in there. <laughs> Five dice, here it comes. <laughs> Fly off the board next turn. <laughs> exactly. I think the problem is the turning around. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's why you don't want to go too fast, so you can at least turn around. But this is why I don't fly. Whatever they're called, the Absalons. So I think yeah, Gary trucking out Proton probably. Yeah, it must be. Just hoping to try to catch. Yeah, yep. And then red line also dropping it. Trying to create this. He'll probably try to block in. Yeah, so he's probably going to try to block quick draw into this little area. I wonder if he's done the two turn left. So he boosts left and then two turn. Then gets a proton torp at Tavson. Yeah. So what do you do with Midnight at this stage? Probably three bank. Just try to get there. Try to get back into the fight. Because you're going to miss a shot with five forward, but at least yeah. you're going to be up in the game for the next round. So your three no, bank, I don't think he's going to be... Well, there's not much it. else you can do. Three bank, barrel roll. But... Yeah. But... FOs at range three, they just they don't hit very well. Yeah. So here, his quick draw. Maybe the three sloot. Oh, I know. We had to get him with a three bank here. We had to get into death rain. Oh yeah, uh, definitely at range three. Hmm. Obstructed probably. Yeah. Do you reckon the um the top bomb is maybe in range one? It looks like uh, Death Rain's in range of both bombs there. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking of Red Line as Death Rain. That was a bit silly of me. <laughs> boost? Then, yeah, yeah, perfect. Bo boost lock. Yeah. Should be range two. Yeah, he's got a proton there, so... Oh, he's moved the lock. Yeah. yeah. Red line, which he didn't have to do. Yeah, he could have kept both. Yeah. Okay. So what's right. I think he's trying to stay away from the, uh, the bombs. The bombs, yeah, which is probably the right call. And just a really easy target to go over after midnight. Hmm. Yeah, the other thing as well is that he's probably a little bit fearful of what's happening with um, quick draw, so he's just trying to bail out of there and and keep as far away as possible. I reckon quick draw may have done a sloop. Yeah. Yeah, if he's done the sloop to the left, up towards the board edge, maybe he might. I probably, I probably would go four forward. Um, barrel roll and then turn the arc backwards. Oh, yeah, it's interesting that he's gone the focus there and then try and get the double shot off. Oh, four forward, yeah, or five forward. Where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> Sweet, it's pog mail though, it takes 237 years to get there. <laughs> it's a bit slow. <laughs> Man, man, see, that was a perfect burn for the peasant, but he's not here. Oh, I'll just take it. Ow. Oh. <laughs> nice. Shit. See, when you said it's a bit slow, I was like, just like you, Tim, but I'm like, wrong Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm slower. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, now, yeah, if he turns his arc to the back. And then you at least get that shot. You could get the double shot there because you'd get the double mm. shot one on um, soon to you one on um, Death Rain. Yeah. 
He should have soon to you enough. That's why I looks... said, Andy. He never <laughs> listened. <laughs> Sorry? What was that? Oh, that's why I said, Andy. You never listen. <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, fool me once, don't fool me twice. Cool. Okay, so one of Blade Plating off of Death Rain. And then takes the other one. Yep. Oh, did he just get. Yes, yeah, yeah, he Yep, just got him. Uh, a little bit of a pre shuffle there. <laughs> ah, I was expecting no damage this turn. Yep. Oh, that's really clear. JJ <laughs> <laughs> Abrams lens glare. <laughs> Can't even see that from here. Right. So I reckon that was the first shield that Redline lost. Uh, Death Rain lost, sorry. Was it? Yeah, because okay. if you look right in the middle uh, of the board, I'm pretty sure that is um, Death Rain. Yeah. But he was being shot at before. Oh, I just missed all of that. So it looks like it might be a fuel. So having a look down there, it looks like the writing's on the uh, underneath the nose of the ship. Just having a look through my cards, the only writing on below the nose is fuel leak. Yeah, cool. so it looks like a fuel leak on um, Quick Draw. Oh, I love it when you get the double arc on the SF. It feels <laughs> so good. So I was probably just checking if it's obstructed. Yeah, it doesn't look obstructed. Yep, Nothing. in the box. Hmm. Oh, he's got one. Does he change it? Yeah, yeah you not? just spend it. There it is. It's really good when people use the box. <laughs> yeah, it helps you uh, see the results a bit easier. Yeah. Uh, range one. Ooh. Yeah, I reckon just. Still not a bad thing. You still get your three dice. Looks like he's yeah. got the target lock, so you hold that for the uh, next turn. I dare say there's going to be a stop involved here, though. Yeah. Oh, oh it must proton. be just range. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, unlucky. Hit crit themselves. So two shields. But then, yeah, so I can do his action. And Tamsin gets a focus and then blasts away a death rain. You probably. Yep. Where's my money again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so the range one. Yeah, three more into. There you go. Green dice knocks over one of the hits. Take one less. Yeah, probably put put the lock onto. This is going to be brutal. Oh, so they were calling that cocked, was it? Yeah, it must have been yeah, cocked. So. I think he's um, got the target lock. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. But he left one blank there, didn't he? Oh, maybe and it was cocked. Yeah, now, yeah. Yep. yeah there oh, yep. Spend the focus. Jeez. Ugh. That's a hurdy. That's yeah. right. So you got one, two, three, and the crit. crit.
What? No idea. Oh, we got lens flare. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's going to be a blinded or a loose stabiliser. Funnily enough, that's what we all got, was blinded by that. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be a blinded then. I take two tension. <laughs> that's a side reference for Gary. Now here with Tabson, it's kind of a difficult spot of if you stop, you can maybe block them for this turn, the punishes, but then next turn you're in a lot of trouble of where you actually want to go. And so I don't know if he just does the too hard to the left to then be able to turn around next. I feel like red line's coming in for a 4K though. Yeah. So if he does the too hard, he's going to be in a prime spot. For, oh, no, he did use his uh, target lock before, didn't he? Yeah. So he doesn't have a target lock. Okay, so, yeah, that makes the too hard left better. And Redline used one torp. I think they both use proton bombs. Midnight and Quick Draw. Quick Draw is mm. definitely in it. Um, Cynthia yeah, this... would be a too hard boost. All that. Yeah. It's gonna. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be that too hard boost around. Um, but then you know you're looking at a one hard from Midnight and a three hard Quick Draw maybe. Yeah. And it's just going to sort of lock down soon to you. But then I wonder if he could do maybe something like a two straight with red line and then boost one to come around the back of Tabson and get a lock onto Midnight. Yep. Tabson could do a three right turn. I think they have three right. Uh, I don't think okay, it's got a two left. Yeah, it's a red three right. Yeah, it's a red three right. And then just make, give all ships turning on to soon tier, trap him. Try and kill him in one turn. Hmm. Does oh, that... good jam. Very good jam. Hmm? Oh, no, he's oh. stopped. Nice. Oh, did he? Oh, he's jammed. Good jammed, yeah. Nice uh, token there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the 4K. That was a very nice jam, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Good old raspberry jam. <laughs> so... Red lines, uh... So red line could potentially still do what I was saying um, and boost, target lock a rock, jam that target lock, and then acquire a lock with his ability. No, he can't. No, so he'd have to... Oh, it's a, it's so... a linked action. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, he could. Because a boost around here into midnight could... Well, yeah, he could do the boost forward. And then just lock, quick draw. Like would you go quick draw or would you, you come around for midnight? Mm. There no. is uh, a bomb right underneath one of those dives. Oh, uh, ah, okay. okay. So um, the one right next to uh, quick draw, there's a bomb. You can sort of see just the corner. Okay, so it's going to target lock onto quick draw. Yep. Quick draw to get rid of that jam. We, yeah, and then got the ability quick um, lock. You can't lock the same player though, can you? Yeah. Okay. 
I think Redline allows that. Uh, ah, yeah. right, okay. See, now it's interesting. I wonder if David has really picked up on that Sintim move and is going after him or if he's going to go for the Punishers. Oh, wow, he's coming for the Punishers. Yeah. I, um... I feel like he could have had a free scent here then. Well, not a free scent here. He would have taken a shot for it. Hmm. So what's quick draw going to do then? Oh, yeah. Two yeah, three. Okay. Huh. Then... okay, yeah, barrel. Hmm. Yeah. Because it's essentially a free action. Yeah. And then if he's... So it doesn't look like Redline's got a shot. I could be wrong here on to um, midnight, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Could just be the angle zone. So soon to have range three shot. Well, he's, I think he's going to check for bullseye. Ah, uh, oh, yes. So it looks like it is. Yeah. What? Oh, now they're, they're going to check for instructions. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. But Could be a massive turning point if they can get rid of Saint here. So that's, that looks like it's just range two. Yeah, mm. just range two. It could be very nice. Ooh. Oh, he's pulled it out. Oh, typical. <laughs> <laughs> that was good rolling. Yeah. Range three and red line. I guess he's trying to get rid of red. Uh, Maybe token strip. Oh, yep. Yeah, so Advanced optics. optics. Yeah. Um, there okay, we go. Yeah. yeah, stripping tokens. Oh, I thought he had a target lock. That would have been a dead death. I think that's red line at the back. Yeah. Oh, no, Redline came forward. Yeah, Sorry, Redline's Death in Rain's front, so that was Death Rain at the back. Hmm. Oh. Yep, so he's going to spin that lot. Oh, Ooh, only the one. And what's he going to do for action? Maybe nothing. Wouldn't you put a lock on someone just for the... Yeah, that's true, because he's probably going to take two turns to get back in the action at least. Yeah, so you just put that lock down and then... We'll just and give he... a coordinate to make um, Midnight get a free lock or something. Maybe. Yeah, yeah or would have you been range two though? Ooh, that would have been would have been close. close. Yeah, because it was range three to um, death rain. So and it was only just range. Oh, uh, death rain just had the eye on, so I think that's what his crit was. Right, that would make sense. But then. Yeah, it didn't look like he took damage. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. So it would it was would have from, been from last round, from when he activated that he was meant to, he was take the iron token. But 
But yeah, now here, Tabson, if he does that too hard again, well, if you go... I don't think he's going to make it too hard to the left. Might have to be... It's going to be close. Yeah. Two bank, maybe? I would have thought going to the right. One mm. with the two, ba- two hard. Because I would have thought going left would be three turns to get your arc back on ships, at least. Yeah. Whereas going right is probably two. But has Gary called it and then, you know, doing the... Done a 4K or something. Or something. Mm. Um, because if he goes to the right, just probably what a, a bank with red line and I don't know what to do with death rain, but they'd probably both be able to get him back in arc. I feel like quick draw is in a bit of an average. Oh, so he, yeah, he did have the range. He could have put that. He could have done the um, coordinate in the turn before to get that lock. And then That's he's done left. the advanced sensors coordinate now. Oh, yeah. Oh, there'd be no room in that wall whatsoever. <laughs> I do really like the look of the Upsilon, though. It's a sexy looking ship. Yeah. Oh, uh, yep. So, it's just on that clear the stress. Oh, that is super. Oh, no. It's close, though. Yeah. Like a glow. <laughs> ah. So I reckon he's going to try and run here with Soontir. Maybe try and get in there on... Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think Quickdraw is going to be able to get around that uh, debris. No. Like Let's maybe go through it. rebank. And if he's got that lock sitting on Quitra waiting for him as well. Yeah, that would be. Because I think he's still got one proton left. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Bring it around. Barrel boost. Yeah. Back behind just to, midnight. Just to make sure he's got that arc. Well. Quick draw could do uh, pattern analyzer focus, and then just do a, a three turn, and then try and get rid of death rain. Yes, kill him. Hmm. Oh no, that's red red line. Sorry. He's done a four k. Oh. Does he fit? Doesn't look oh, like I think it. That's a bump. Oh no. Yeah. Unfortunate. I don't know, yeah, how quick he thought he was gonna go though. Oh yep, yeah, so he's out. And I wonder if he'll barrel roll just to make sure. No, nah, he's too close to the board, I reckon. Especially for next turn. Just He's probably out of range. I think a barrel roll will put him in range. Hmm. And I think uh, Redline's still got a proton talk. Yeah. So. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's game. Very, very game. Try and look for a shot. Oh, he's going yep. to the rear. Yep, and he's going to turn his arc, but. You know, yeah, I, I don't think that's. That's definitely not in your favor, though. You have yeah. no mods. And then a double modded tour. So range three from Cynthia. Cynthia, yeah. Outmaneuver, so it's still only three, though. Oh, this is going to be painful. Wow. Oh. Good roll. Mm. 
Oh, oh, unfortunate. Yeah, so you can spend his focus. Take hit crit. I think that's another fuel leak. <laughs> I can't see it properly in the. It might just be the reflection. Yeah. Oh, I mustn't have torpedoes still. Oh no, this is a uh, quick draw. Oh, okay. So it takes two on the red line. <laughs> yep. Yeah, here comes that torpedo. Oh. There we go. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. This is Dead quick draw. Quick draw down. Yeah, I wonder if that was the right move to barrel roll. I guess you, you're only really preventing one more round because you're going to get that anyway. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> he probably would have been more conservative if he... Senor in, a, in the bottom right hand instead of turning in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quick draw probably would have died. Well, was, if he had done the signals instead of doing that five straight and actually gone to the left and been sitting in the sort of more in the corner. Yeah. And then it would have turned his elusive back on. And then had a little bit more defense sitting there, and then behind the rock as well. Yeah. And he could have pattern analyzed for the, the focus and just be sitting in behind that rock and hopefully survive a torp shot. And the other thing as well with that is that then it gives him options to go either side of the rock. So Gary would have to either come and sit near the rock and try mm. and cover both angles. Um, but he's got a couple of options to give himself to try and sort of get away. Yeah. That next shot. So here now, soon to you, two, four, oh, probably two bank, and then... Well, it looks like Tabson's going to be coming in on a two. Yeah, two hard, hard in. So he's going to want to stay away from that. Um, is that a bomb left on death ring? No, protons are gone. Seismics are there. Oh, will that be death rain? Maybe just to get the action? And because he's going to be doing the one forward now for the ion. Hmm. So at least it just gives him an action. And the other thing as well is he can take an action that um, uh, is you know, not a focus because he's not ioned yet. So. Yeah. Is he ion now, though, actually, thinking about it? Or is it when he acts? No, it's just when you like when you do your manoeuvre. Yeah, right. Can so he can still do different actions here. Yeah. There's that two left. Very nice. There's a bomb coming in there. No shields as well. Oh, actually, no, it's going to be a side. Show, so. I must say, it's very, very difficult. Gary's very, very difficult. Mm. Very efficient. Yeah, definitely. It's a it's a tough lift to fly against. Mm. So I think that's a a bump. bump. Yeah. Looks like a four K. Ooh. 
Yep. Just bring him back around. But that one's probably. Now, what does Sunti do? Yeah, yeah because Suntir, Suntir does not want to be in that arc. Nah, yeah. not at all. And yes, then he does. He wants both. hugs from the Upsilon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking he might have to sort of get that one bank boost because I didn't think he was going to be able to fit the... Um... Oh, he might still be in arc. To... But then does he just barrel roll? Or... Yeah, because uh, Quickdraw can't do anything here, uh, any sort of uh, crazy midnight. maneuver. Oh, is that Midnight? Yeah, sorry. Uh, midnight. midnight can't do any um, sloops or anything like that already being stressed, so... Yeah. And yeah, he's just... Could have, um, could have done your trick, Andy. Yeah, just, just don't, anyway. just, don't put stress <laughs> on there. <laughs> as long as your opponent doesn't realise, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> As a Porg mind trick. I tell you what, though, if yeah. uh, I ended up winning that game, I'd be a pretty dirty soul <laughs> 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 from that. I reckon I probably would have just We given already Gary, know you have no Gary prizes. <laughs> What's a conscience? Mm. <laughs> and this is why you fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's made. The, he's got out of the bomb range. One for Tavson, though. Must have been a proton. Hmm. A blinded pilot. Wounded pilot. <laughs> Was it? Yep. Yeah. Interesting. And Here that, we go. Yeah. I owned again. What? Uh, he would have taken Maybe. a crit from the... Uh, oh. uh, was the, that a proton? He didn't have any protons left, I didn't think. I didn't think well, so either. Mate. They have. dealt out crits to him, so... Yeah. Interesting. Maybe we just missed that one early on. Unless Gary did a me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just forgot to flip the card up. Yeah. Maybe he was like, well, Andy did it last game, so I'll just do it this one. Yeah. Why not? So here now, probably Cynthia just does the two or three hard uh, left and then he can just chase down midnight it's, I reckon he's going to go for the three because he can, he's going to do the same thing with Tabson and bring Tabson mm. in with that two hard um, oh, although he could be a little bit tricky and go for like a two bank and try and catch red line off guard but yeah, it's hard because is he going to just stop? So throwing out a... Seismic. Yeah, seismic. A agitation. So that should be all of Death Rain's bombs. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably consider maybe doing a one bank left with Tavson. It's not going too aggressive. Well, that's why I was like, I reckon that uh, Death Rain will do a stop. De uh, oh, yep, yeah, Death Rain? Yeah, we'll just do the stop. And that's why I'm thinking that if 
because if Taz, Tavson does the too hard or even just that banking in, it then just puts him in such a worse spot uh, with Death Rain. Yeah. He's got a target lock on. Yeah. So that must be a proton from red line. Okay. I'm assuming that's why he flipped. Yep. Flipped it to the other side. Yeah, probably not really been tracking bombs as well. I think CNT is going to go one bright and just sit there. <laughs> yep. Just sit on the bombs. Tim called that, yep. right? Yep. Is that going to be range two? In the arc. Still looks close to one. Um... Yeah. So yeah, just... I like I like that. Uh, Tavson just having a, a reinforce and then oh look, shoot at me and then I get a focus or something. Oh uh, no, he must have had. Um, he's just taken the stress from doing the action though. I think he rolled a dice that. Uh... Yeah, so it's after you do the action. You roll a die and you can take ah, a stress. Bugger. And so he's taken a stress now. No, oh, I won't be able to take any more free actions. Yeah. Well, we'll just remove that stress and say that you can. Well, bugger. he he will be able to. He can spend the charge to flip the card. Can't he? No, no, but he can't do an action when you're stressed. Yeah. Yeah. So he's stressed now. But instead of doing the rain the reinforce would have just flipped it over. Yeah, 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 that's true. I was wrong about Fell, damn it. Yeah. (laughs) You can't always be right, Tim. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so hoping. Wow, he's really gunning for uh, midnight. Yeah. Probably would have, yeah, gone the the focus and then the boost though. Has he done the yeah he's done that slope. He'll probably focus now. If he's got Oh no he's got advanced optics on midnight. Had him mixed up. Yeah, it's interesting what he's going to do. No, we'll just... Uh, Ooh, just out. Uh... So, red line. Took one? No. Tavison just took one. But no, it doesn't look like he's putting cards on. Oh, yeah, red one just took one. Yep. That actually probably would have been the better um, move. Uh, like Andy was saying, Tavson flipped the, the card over. Yeah. He knows he was going to take the damage from the rock anyway. Triggers, puts the reinforce on. Mm. One ship shoots, then, say, gets a focus, and then the other ship shoots gets a target lock, and then have a four-dice primary. Yep. Oh. Is that a dead midnight? Yeah. Yep. Or has he taken two? So he took one. What is he still have? I thought he just said... I thought he had already taken one. Oh, I might be doing simultaneous fire. Yeah. Oh, wow. Natty's. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was that? You you love that blue milk, don't you? Like? <laughs> you love drinking it. It's like, oh, 
<laughs> Who doesn't love a little yeah. bit of blue milk? Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. No. That's uh, Ooh. bugger. Hit crit. That looks like a blinded or a wounded. Or a stun. Oh, yeah. No, it's know. too many. Uh, could be oh, no, he had, he had reinforced to the front. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, two. Oh, stunts on. Oh. Just hanging in there on both of these, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle if he's going to be able to do enough enough damage to everything. Yeah. Because... Oh, well, that's not oh, too that's bad. Good roll. Oh. Oh, this is going to hurt for Death Rain. That's no. a red line. That's red line. Yeah, taking that three more, but yeah, both punishes are really hurt, but not being able to actually take any of them off the board. Yeah, because still firing two dice at um, yeah, at a one agility ship is is gonna still do damage mm. eventually. Oh, um. I don't know if they I hit time or time, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! There we go. Um, Tough game. This, for, yeah. yeah. Gary did an amazing job getting rid of all the asteroids, so it wouldn't hurt the deaths. So. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what a protector! <laughs> He's done really well at that. Just cleared the way for the death. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty interesting game. Hmm. Again, those uh, bombs and torpedoes just uh, ruining lives, aren't they? Yeah, I think that the damage output on Gary's list is just great. Yeah. Yeah, and then to be able to take that extra action with Death Rain, uh, and then also have the action efficiency efficiency behind Red Line. Very, very strong list. Yeah, because two two double modded um, torpedo shots, um, and you're not even able to get the range bonus if it's at range three. So, yeah, it's it's scary. Mm. It's a very well rounded list. Yeah, David not being able to focus fire on one of the punishers like early on uh, probably really did hurt him. Was that, you can see at the end, you know, they are just scraping through, but they were still doing so much damage, and he needed to get them off. I think there was uh, two rounds or three rounds even where Midnight was just kind of left out of the fight uh, for yeah. being so far out. And, you know, just having that one or two damage coming through, look at look at where the um, Punishers are sitting. They're so yeah. close. Just needed that one extra tap to get them off. That's what she said. <laughs> But no, very good game by played by both uh, Gary taking out the uh, Hobby Matrix Wave Deluxe Championship Tournament thingy, whatever. So yep. well done to Gary. Yep. Yeah, congrats. Actually, having a look at these dice variances as well, uh, yeah. Gary's dice were uh, not in favour of him. Yeah, I definitely missed one of his um, uh, evade. Right, defense rolls. Um, but I think you look at the uh, attack dice, like uh, mm. you know, very, very sort of on par. But then you look at sort of David's; his crits were pretty strong, one hundred and fifty percent. Helping Gary out was if you look at um, David's defense; um, yeah. he wasn't really rolling that well. 
Yeah, fifty three percent on evades. Is that fifty three? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's well so, low. Could have definitely changed the game in that. Sure, especially with uh, you know a ship like Quicktrue on. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's what Gary's all all his target locks too. Yeah. yeah. I think the target looks definitely helped uh, Gary get through that for sure. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, remember to watch us on Twitch next time we stream as well. And don't forget to like and share our videos too. Peace out.